Hey guys, Nick Carlson here with Dawson Manufacturing, home of the Mulch Mate. Yes, it's freezing outside. Yes, I'm wearing an RDL uh, Carhartt. It's amazing. Thanks, Ryan. Anyway, we've got our extension conveyor. It's this bad boy down here. What I want to show you about this guy is all the different features, all the different crazy engineering ideas I came up with and me and my team worked on to get it just right. And we are super proud of it. It's really, really nice. And we know it's going to work great for you in different applications. So, first things first. You see where it's stored here? It's inside of the mulch main, right? On either side. So it's living in a nice central location, out of the way, not gonna get harmed, and you can still operate and use your mulch main like you always have, okay? So when you're ready to use this bad boy, you've got a couple different ways you can use it. You can use it halfway out, all the way out, up, all kinds of different directions. So it's this easy. You have a pull pin. You pull this pin right here, twist it out of the way, okay? Just like so. And you walk back over this this way. As you can see under here, you got these handles. Just give it a pull, and it's going to come out to what we're going to call it the center location. So you got this pull pin here. Snap that in place, and you've got another one on this side. Okay, so you can see it's engaged. So watch this. I'm going to step behind you here, watch, and I'm going to pull. Bam. See how easy that was? It's right in place. All automatic. Take your guards, lift them up, and now you have about two foot hanging out from the mulch mate to get down those uh, island beds or wherever. Take a look, stand this way, and you can see right down the side of the truck. So imagine driving right along something using a remote control. This whole thing is remote control, so you don't even need to be here. You can sit in the truck, you can drive right down an island right where I'm at here and just dump 10 yards of mulch in under five minutes. You can have it on the ground, guys go by, break that stuff up real good, keep on getting it. So, that's the first location. Here's the second. Pull your pull pins back out. Give it a pull. This is all the way out. Okay. Now, give this thing a little lift up tug, locked in place. Pull your second set of guards out. Now, you can see that's now four and a half feet from the side of the truck. So now again, you can see, now I'm really far outside the truck. I'm really get that mulch going. Another awesome feature with this unit is it uses the same conveyor motor, motor as the mulch mate, except this end roller where the motor is, we've increased its diameter. So we've actually increased the speed of the conveyor 100 RPM. So it will, it will eject and dispense whatever material is coming out of the mulch mate faster than the mulch mate can actually put it out. So you're not going to get all jammed, jammed up down in here. And as on the same angle, you can see it's got a rubber guard on the bottom and a rubber guard on the top. Okay, so you can see all that. And we have these really large cleats. And I'm going to show you why that's a big deal. Um, but they're massive. They're vulcanized right into that belt. So say you want to lift this thing up to get it to fill it like say, I don't know, something taller, right? Not a cart mate, not a wheelbarrow, you want something taller. Take your handy dandy straps. And this all comes in your kit. Just simply hook it up here to the bracket. Never undo itself, there we go. And then you have a secondary one over here. Hooks right into the side like so. Now, so this is a really important feature with the mulch made, the extension conveyor, and all the different products we make. Single man operation is super important to me because I want to be able to send one guy out there and do the job of three or four guys, okay? So, if you want to lift this thing up up to 30 degrees, this is how you do it. So you have these handles here, right? So how are you going to hold this up? Well, first off, it's not that heavy, right? Second off, you can take this handle and you just pull on it, lift up. Now that is all the way up to the position you want it in. Now, you can run your extension bear. And now you can fill something. I'm 6'3", so you can see it's at my chest height. I'm not sure what the dimension is on this. This is going to vary. The height of this is going to vary uh, truck to truck, depending on what vehicle you have this on. If you have it on an NPR or Zuzu, it's going to be lower. If you have it on an F650, it's going to be like way up there, right? So, I'm just going to run the conveyor belt, but you can see the speed of it and the sound of it. Oh, I got to plug it in. Ha! 
sight. I do that all the time. So here, let me show you the plug. So the plug's right here. Just a little Anderson connector, okay? Pull this off, plug it in right there like so. You can see the wire's all tucked up out of the way. Spring-loaded keeps it out of the way, and it's got all these little fasteners, so it's gonna hold it out of the way in the little spot to keep it when uh, you're not using it to keep it nice and clean. So let's try that again. So, got a bunch of molds or rock or what have you in here. You wanna fill a top dresser, let's say. That's a big, big reason this thing exists. Look at the speed. So, something I want to point out is, not only the speed's a big deal, but if you, if you kind of zoom in here, you have this rubber flap down here. Now, the material's gonna build up down here, and what we did is, we made this so close that when these cleats come out from underneath of it, you'll see it'll pop up. Check it out. See it? So that is there, so it will flick the material back onto the belt, keeping it from clogging, and it'll keep pushing all that material out. But when you're all done, right, so it's real easy, you can just loosen up one side, okay? And then the other side, I just simply, I semi-hold here, and then I just slowly release, and that's it. So when you're done, you just simply pull this out, okay? This is, this is the big part. This is what I really want to show everybody. How do you do this? One guy operation, pull this down, drop the gate. Okay, uh, pull the Okay. Plug the plug. All right, and then just simply push this right back in. Pull this pin, and then just give it a push. And that's it. Guys, it's really simple, really nice system. Uh, it's going to mount right on the Multimate you're already currently owned, or one in the near future. So go to MultimateUSA.com, you get all the information on this bad boy put up on the website right away. If you want to get, get that added to your Multimate, we ship one to you, or we can add one to your Multimate and get that out to you. Guys, I'm Nick Carlson with Dawson Manufacturing and Multimate. Have an awesome day.